the easiest home-baked bread you'll ever make. Hi everyone, I'm baking bread today. Now normally I wouldn't put bread on the channel because there are some amazing bread professionals on YouTube. But I've discovered this absolutely spectacular way of making bread effortlessly. And the big thing that we all dread about making bread is the kneading and obviously the uh, uncertainty as to whether the bread's going to come out um, in, a, in a decent enough way for us to appreciate it. This is foolproof. It's guaranteed to come out absolutely superb bread. The crust of this bread resembles sourdough, the texture resembles sourdough, however the taste probably isn't like sourdough but it's got that wonderful chewy texture and it's homemade and most importantly for a lot of people it's very very economical. So let's briefly run through the ingredients and then we'll crack on and work out exactly how to do it shall we? Okay I've got some whole wheat flour and some regular white bread flour. I'm using equal quantities. You can use two thirds white and one third whole wheat if you prefer. I've also got some yeast and some salt and I will be putting all the ingredient quantities and measurements in the description below. In here I've got some water. We need the water to be quite warm. So let's crack on and get the flour in the bowl. So in goes the white flour. Do ignore my burn there by the way, I'm very clumsy. In goes the whole wheat flour. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put the yeast one side there and I'm going to put the salt the other side. I'm just going to cover those up. So in goes our warm water. And this is the only strenuous effort that is required for this bread. We're going to mix that up with the wooden spoon. And if we can just zoom in and just see, show everybody exactly how the dough is behaving as we mix it. And as you can see, it's quite a wet dough and the surplus dough is gathering in the main chunk of dough. Or as someone said the other day, is it a blob of dough? And I said, yes, of course it's a blob. And I'm just gonna briefly get that off with my fingers. Now I'm gonna get my hands in very, very briefly. I'm not going to knead it. I'm just gonna mix it round, it's quite wet. And, and hopefully my bowl won't keep moving. So, my dough is now ready. All I'm going to do now, cover that with some cling film and plastic wrap. And that's it, the effort is done. A couple of teaspoons of oil, olive oil over the top. And that's gonna help us fold the dough in 24 hours time. And we just need to cover this now. With plastic wrap. There we are. And that's it folks. I'll see you in 24 hours. 24 hours later. So my sheet of baking paper I'm going to sprinkle some flour. I'm going to put quite a bit on there because our dough is still quite wet. I'm going to get this dough out of the bowl. As you can see, it's quite wet, which is absolutely fine. So I'm just gonna sprinkle flour over the top of our dough. I'm going to flatten the dough, and I'm going to make a number of folds. Now, can we zoom in to see exactly what I'm doing with these folds, please? So we can show all my friends exactly what I'm doing. Once you've got to the size 
of about the same size as a pasta bowl. I'm now going to turn the dough round, and yes, it's sticky, so let's get some more flour in there. I'm going to shape it with the hands, and I haven't been doing this for five minutes. And I'm now going to sit it there, sprinkle with a little bit extra flour. A little bit of oil to stop the cling film or the plastic wrap from sticking. So that dough sits there on the work surface. We're not going to move it. It sits there in the atmosphere of my kitchen for exactly two hours. So our dough is now ready to go in my ceramic pot in the oven. I'm just going to score the dough. I'm just going to use a knife for this because my knife's quite sharp. Put a little bit of salt and pepper on top, just mainly for appearance. And now it's time to lift the dough into the pot. So this is how I do it. I grab the four sides. Hopefully you can see that. And then very carefully drop the dough into the, the pot that's been sitting in the oven for half an hour. Lid on. And our bread looks wonderful. I'm going to take it out of the uh, pot now. I've spent 10 minutes of my time with this bread. The rest of the time it's just been sitting around, either on the counter or in the oven. But it's possibly the best loaf of bread I've ever come across in 40 years of professional cooking. It's effortless. There's nothing to it. There's no problem at all to be encountered with this bread. It produces the most amazing country loaf I've ever seen. A chewy crust with a soft interior. And I'll tell you something, the most amazing toast a couple of days later. Hey everyone, if you haven't subscribed, can I ask you to subscribe because this bread is worth every bit of your time. You can always like or comment or even share. And if you love what I do, please tell your friends, get them to subscribe, get them to join us in our food revolution. I'll see you guys all very soon. Time for me to get stuck in.